Hello! In this video, we are going to explain our first practice in system of programming. This practice was made by Amelia Salgado and Perayo Álvarez. And here we have made a calculator that um, resolves from a simple operation to a group of uh, more complicated equations. Well, to start with, we are going to explain the first notion about this practice. What does infix to postfix mean? When we write something on a calculator, it has to translate it to its own language. Then the calculator operates it and gives us an answer. Now we have here an equation that we have introduced in our calculator that is written in infix language. The calculator would translate it to its language, postfix, like that. After that, it will give us an answer. Our practice is divided in three different parts. The first part is about how to translate from infix, our language, to postfix, the language of our calculator. With this postfix language, we will, the calculator will create a queue that will be used by the postfix machine to give us a, a solution. The solution will be made by the math operators and the, we are going to explain how each part works. Now we are going to explain part 2 and 3. The queue given by part 1 is used little by little, helped by the stack, to give us the, sol the result of the operation. How? Well. If the queue isn't empty, we will start analyzing the elements of the queue. If we see that the first element is a number, we will push it into the stack. And if we see that it is an operator, we will analyze the queue and help by the math operators, we will, it will give us the answer. Now we, here's an example of what the calculators do with a queue. We have the first two numbers that are directly in going into the stack. We have an operator that uh, adds these two elements. Then we have another two numbers directly into the stack, another operator that adds them Then another number directly into the stack, another operator that multiplies them, and finally the last operator that makes the operation between them. And this gives us the final answer, minus 32.